in the groundbreaking program at Tampa's airport to give passengers some peace of mind flying during a pandemic. ABC's Gio Benitez joins us with the details. Good morning to you, Gio. Hey, Eva, good morning to you. Yeah, as we approach the holidays, more people will start traveling. But with COVID cases rising, now some airports and airlines say they have a solution. Test before you fly. This morning, COVID testing is already underway at a few major airports across the country. Tampa International Airport launching a first of its kind pilot program offering tests to all passengers, no matter where they're going. You were the first airport in the nation to offer this to all travelers. Why was that so important to you? We had to do something. We had to take a proactive stance against this problem that we have in the travel business. And so one way that we are able to assuage the fears of travelers is to test them. We've done about 80 people a day, and our peak day was about 140 people on one day. The testing happens before you even go through security. Everything was seamless. Everything was very organized. It was painless. Victoria Kikas took the test in Tampa before her flight to New York. Peace of mind for us and peace of mind for our families. We were going up for a family function and uh, we just wanted to make sure we did the right thing. And it's not just Tampa. In San Francisco, starting Thursday, United is offering tests to travelers going to Hawaii to help them avoid a 14-day quarantine. In Dallas, American Airlines doing the same for flights to Hawaii and Costa Rica. And in Oakland, a free drive-up testing site near the airport. Now airline executives are pushing for a so-called air bridge where passengers flying between New York and London, for example, would be tested before getting on a plane. They say this could help open up the economy. So is testing the future of flying in America? We have the technology. The tests have become ample and we're able to provide them very easily. So that's the reason we're here. We don't know what the next iteration will be, but we will always work to find a way to improve the travel experience. But remember, these tests are optional, and that means that in most cases, you're going to have to pay for it out of pocket. In Tampa, that's going to cost you anywhere between 60 and 120 bucks. In San Francisco, that's going to cost you $250 for the test. But Dan, as you can see right there, people are doing it. Yeah, sometimes it's worth it for the peace of mind. Gio, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.